Tied in the corner was a city bank. Gone. Looks like crypto is taking him down one by one. Let's see, this is uh, where the uh, main entrance was. That's where the uh, ATM used to be. Another bank gone. Right here on Shadow Avenue. This used to be a CVS pharmacy. It's now all boarded up and closed. This is down here on University and San Pablo. All of it. A lot of art on the walls, very artistic. We're in Berkeley, California today. Berkeley was mentioned a lot in the comments for having a lot of stores closed. We're in Shadow Avenue, which is a main city street here in Berkeley. We're about to explore to see if we can find stores that are closed. And just right of the opposite corner where the closed city bank is, we have this one here for lease too. This is Shattuck and University. This one is another large retail space. Goes from the corner up to that, the end where the fence starts down there. I think this used to be a restaurant. Yeah, ends right here. 5,000 square feet. Good luck with that. I think that most of this block is all closed and available. This one too, this one's closed and available. So is this one. Gone. Then we have here another one for lease. Right here. All back to back. And just across the street from those restaurants that are closed, right in front of it. Another two back to back. This one's for lease, so is this one for lease. Very nice art. This right here on this corner used to be a Walgreens pharmacy. Close. Let's get a little closer. Big retail pharmacy close. From here up the way down there, almost half the block. See, it says uh, store close. I was, this was the uh, main entrance for the Walgreens retail pharmacy. Close. All this space used to be the Walgreens store here on this corner. And right next to the closed Walgreens, the opposite corner, closed too, right here. This corner too, they smash, smash the door there. Now I think the entire block here is, everything's closed. So we have this corner one that's closed, and then we got another one that used to be a, a tea fever store, closed. And here we have an ice cream shop that's also closed. And the one next to it is also closed. And right next to it, yeah, it's also closed, right here. The one next to it is also closed. This used to be a, bike rental station right here here's another one that's closed this used to be a papa john's uh it says that they're closed these locations who knows why this is the same papa john's that's closed and here we have a starbucks that's open this used to be a theater and now it's closed here we have a uh yogurt land closed this one closed. So out of all this block, the entire block, the only store that's open is Starbucks. Other than that, every store is closed in the block. Here's the, uh, another movie theater. Also closed. It says that they're doing a Lobby, new housing, renovation. Who knows if that's true? I don't think they're coming back. Right here for lease, right next to the theater. This one looks like a bar, it might be open. 
And these right here in the corner is closed. This corner right here. The uh, for lease sign is over here. This used to be like a coffee shop. Opposite corner, also closed. I don't know what these used to be, but it's closed. It's a large space. So it's the one next to it, closed. We're gonna keep going. Wow, this one's large. Large retail space available. Now we're gonna get across the street to see the other side. Not hard to find. We spot the first place available for lease. Here's another one for lease by the same uh, Gordon commercial. And right across the street, we have um, a theater. That's a theater that has been closed, California. And here the entrance is all boarded up. Here's another one for lease. This used to be like a Japanese anime. Here we have another one for lease. Here this corner is available. Right here on Center and Shadow. Curb 31 used to be a real estate mortgage brokers. Now they're broke and it's available. Here we have a couple more stores that are closed. Wash and fold. There's just a few pallets in there. And this one here in the corner is also closed. This one's a big one here. It's a corner store. It goes around the block. Let me check out around the block to see if uh, anything else is closed here. You know, there's no more stores here. But we have a pay phone. I haven't seen one of these in a while. And this one looks like it works. Same Gordon commercial. These washing machines are cool. Nice little touch. Too bad the store is closed. Here's another one. With your clothes right through here and right on the opposite corner where that one was, we have another one here for lease on this corner for lease so it's the opposite corner close let's get closer this used to be a sprint store see that's where the sign used to be sprint and next to it radio shack gone here we have another spot that's closed This used to be a furniture store, gone. This was a furniture store, now it's for rent. Same uh, on university. This was a big store, gone. We're still in university. We have another two back to back for lease. This one right here and this one. Here we have the uh, King Long Salon. Walk-ins not welcome. Close. Here's another one for lease. Almost back to back to the salon. And right here in the corner, we have another one for lease. This used to be a radio shack. Radio shacks have been gone for a while. Right on the opposite corner, here on University, we have another one here for lease. And right next to it, there's another one that's vacant. This used to be a convenience store. Closed. You guys got it right again. There's a lot of stores that are closed here in Berkeley. Let me know what city you want me to visit next. 
and I'll see you in the comments and on the next video. Oh, right here.